we have this issue with mental health medications, which is that a lot of them aren't even actually effective, right? So we know that antidepressants don't separate from placebo in the treatment of mild to moderate depression. So it's like everyone's on these meds, and are they actually doing anything? And they're doing something because placebo does something. So it's like you know you're taking something and you feel a shift, um, which would be fine if they didn't have the potential to cause harm. So like. A benign, a harmless placebo is a great thing, but that's not what SSRIs are. Um, whereas things like the stimulants, this is no placebo. Like these are powerful medications; they work, um, but they. I, I'm really concerned with the long-term issues. Uh, I have a lot of patients who have been on stimulants for years, decades, since childhood, and what you see, the adult picture of that, is someone who is, there's a real psychological and physiologic dependency on the medications. I hear a lot, like, I can't even get out of bed in the morning without taking my Adderall, or Vyvanse, or Ritalin, or Concerta. Um, and then I'll, I'll see people that kind of try and fail to get off of it, and that's like, like a really rough experience. People will try to get off of it. They'll be glued to their couch for a whole weekend. They'll feel depressed. They'll want to eat everything that's not pinned to the floor. It's like a really uncomfortable experience to go through. And a lot of patients really struggle with it. And, and sort of, it takes them months or even years to figure out how to get off of stimulants. Um, and you see a lot of like, you know, I, for lack of a better term, like adrenal fatigue or just burnout or what I think of as just someone's fried. And I think it makes sense that after years of stimulant use, it's like, you've basically given yourself this false energy or false alertness, um, and it doesn't come from nowhere. So it's like if you're getting good sleep and good nourishment, then okay, you can be a high performer. But if you're not getting good sleep, not getting good nourishment, and you're on, because you know Adderall is making you on, then you're sort of stealing that energy from somewhere. And it kind of, you see people sort of have this come up in later where like, they're just so depleted from all of these years of being so high performing on this medication. Um, and then you'll also, I'll see people that who their guts are really messed up, and I think that's actually related to stimulants. And this idea, it goes back to like high school, freshman year biology class, where you learn about um, your parasympathetic nervous system, which is like rest, digest, repair, um, and then there's the sympathetic nervous system, which is like fight or flight. And you can't really repair unless you're relaxed, if you're in that parasympathetic tone. If you're taking a stimulant, you're by definition in this fight or flight state. So if you're on that medication and you're in that fight or flight state all day, every day, something goes off with your gut, which so commonly happens, then there's never really an opportunity to heal. So I'll see people on stimulants have like a really disordered gut ecology. They'll have things like SIBO, they'll have things like, um, you know, dysbiosis in their, in their large intestine. And um, there's really just no healing that until they're off the stimulant because their body needs to be able to be in that parasympathetic tone, rest, digest, repair. Um, wow. So yeah, they, these medications are not benign. Um, I don't dispute that some people really have true blue ADHD symptoms. I just, I just think that there's a better way of managing it. Yeah. And, and I hope that people can learn about that alternative so they can do that before getting themselves on this path of years yeah. of medication.